15-year-old Arfred Rufo has non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Take deep breaths, okay? After arriving from the Philippines eight months ago, his weight increased from 120 to 170 pounds. Without medication to treat the disease, Arfreds must lose weight and exercise. It's really, really, really hard, <laughs> like a math exam hard. <laughs> In children with fatty liver disease, as their liver fills up with fat, it starts to become yellowish. All of these clear areas that look like Swiss cheese shows where there's accumulation of fat globules. A physical exam, blood test, or a biopsy is the only way to diagnose the problem. By the time symptoms ever do present, uh, it's oftentimes too late to do much about what's already happened to their liver. Dr. Joel Levine from Columbia University Medical Center and co-authors conducted a randomized controlled trial assessing whether blood tests showing liver injury would improve in 173 children aged 8 to 17 after taking vitamin E and the diabetes drug metformin versus a placebo. The multi-center trial was conducted at 10 university research centers. Over 96 weeks, treatment with either vitamin E or metformin did not result in a significant change from placebo in reduction or normalization of serum tests of injury. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, and researchers also observed a small difference in the liver tests of children who underwent biopsies at the beginning and end of the trial. There was less cell injury in the liver um, on, in the group that was treated with vitamin E compared to the group that wasn't. I'm really on a strict diet with my mom, and I'm dancing now. I'm exercising. Oh wow, good job. <laughs> Look, you lost some weight already. Yeah. The dancing works. You lost seven pounds. Catherine Dolph, the JAMA Report.